hello from Walt Disney World at the Magic Kingdom. I have my friend Savvy with me today. And guess what? This is her first my visit first. to Walt Disney World. I am so excited to be here with you to walk you through your first time. I am gonna show you what I think are the seven most important things that you should do at the Magic Kingdom at your first visit. So let's do it. Let's go get into some hijinks. If you are coming to Disney for the first time, you have to go on the monorail. It is a classic, there it is, the classic mode of transportation at Walt Disney World. So you excited to go on the monorail? Oh yeah. Let's do it. There you go. Monorail silver. Oh, look at the castle. So now we're going through the contemporary. Okay. The monorail goes inside the hotel. Look how cool. Oh, okay. Ooh, cool. You got a nice view of Space Mountain. Pretty cool. Monorail worth the hype. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sabby, you are about to walk into Walt Disney World for the first time. Are you ready? I am so ready. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Here we go, seeing the castle for the very first time. <laughs> Are you getting the feels? All right, number two, after you ride the monorail and come in and see the castle and all its glory, you need to get your first visit button in City Hall. You ready to go inside and get your button? Yeah. All right. Hey, she wants to get her first visit button. Thank you so much. Let's see it. Uh, let's see that first visit button. Yes. All right, now you are ready for the park. Number three, go to the castle. Walk through the castle and take an amazing picture with the castle. I highly recommend a fun magic shot or my favorite, the super zoom, like this. All right, here's a bonus. Sabby, do you see how there's a crown sitting on top of Cinderella's head? Okay, now now squat a little like you're the size of a child. Squat, go more, more, more. Until you don't see the crown, right? You don't see it anymore, right? That's because the eyes of a child, she was a princess all along. Number four, meet some characters. And in this case, because of the times we're in, see a parade of characters because you can't technically meet them. So you're kind of doing two things at once, right? Yeah, All right, so let's go see some characters. Number five, eat at Cinderella's Royal Table. However, we don't have a reservation. <laughs> and it's also a little out of our price range. It is very expensive, but I do recommend eating there once to say that you ate inside Cinderella's Castle. I think it's super cool. I think um, when the world kind of comes back to normal and Disney kind of fully full circles, 
Um, Akashur's in, in Epcot is my personal favorite for princess dining. Uh, it's better food in my opinion and you get more time with the princesses. I really enjoy it. Um, or if you don't want to eat here and you are a big Beauty and the Beast fan, I highly recommend Be Our Guest Restaurant. In normal times for quick service lunch, it's a great value, really good food. Currently right now, it is only offering table service lunch and dinner. Uh, so we don't have a reservation for that either. You need a reservation. And it is a little bit more expensive than if you go for quick service lunch, but it's beautiful. I highly recommend doing one or the other for your first time if you can get those reservations. We're just not gonna be able to do that today. But on to the next one. Number six, ride the rides. Here's what I recommend though. I think you should ride one opening day attraction at least one classic Disney attraction, and one mountain. If you're unaware of what mountains are, there are three, but we say four mountains now. There is Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, and Seven Dwarfs Mine Train as the now unofficial official fourth mountain. So definitely one of each of those, and then obviously do as many as possible, but I definitely recommend doing that. So let's get to our first ride, a true Disney classic, quintessential Disney opening day attraction. It's a small world after all. to say at least one awesome Disney show like the Enchanted Tiki Room. Disney World treat. Something like a Mickey bar or a turkey leg or a churro. But honestly, let's go for the real star here, the Pineapple Dole Whip. True Disney classic. I'm so excited for you to try it. And actually, I'm really excited because I'm trying for the first time the Coconut Dole Whip, which I've been trying to, try, I've been wanting to try for so long and I just keep forgetting to. But I remembered today because we were doing this. So I'm really excited. Let's dig in. Yes. Yeah. Cheers! <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna say something a little controversial. The coconut Dole Whip is way better than the pineapple Dole Whip. I think this is the most delicious Dole Whip I've ever had. Oh my god, but you have to like coconut to like it. What do you think of the pineapple Dole Whip? It's delicious. Everything. Yeah? yeah? Oh yeah. I mean, you love ice cream, so this is way I know, up your I really alley. Do. Oh my gosh, I really do. <laughs> All right, Savvy, rate the pineapple dough whip one out of ten. What do you say? Um, I would say a nine. That's yeah, a that's yeah. a high number. You know, I would agree with you, and only because I just decided that the coconut dough whip is ten, and that's I mean, I guess two can be ten, but. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, like, seriously, Aloha Isle right now, some, it comes and goes, but the Coconut Dole Whip, I so recommend this. It comes in either a float or you can get it as a cup like I did. I was just about to put this in my mouth with my mask on. 
<laughs> yes! So, Sabby, what did you think of your first day, your first time here at Walt Disney World? Was, I had a great time. It was amazing. The castle is beautiful. I got to see the characters out on the street. It was amazing. I have no other words. The rides, awesome. It was, it was like you said, truly magical. Truly magical day. I hope that I kind of spread everything around to get you a little bit of everything here on your first day. A little character, a little ride, a little snacky, a little just truly magical first day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, let me know in the comments below if I missed anything that you think is super important for a first timer to do at Walt Disney World. Let me know if you think you agree with what I chose. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>